All right, let's check out noise tools. Noise tools is kind of made up of three sections. You've got your noise generation and clock and random pulse section here. Uh, then you have your sample and hold section in the middle and your slew limiter on the right there. And they're all made to either work in tandem or work separately. Starting on the left here, uh, we have both pink and white noise outputs. And you've got pink noise, which is equal power per octave. It's got a lot more low frequency energy, whereas white noise is equal power per frequency. It's got a lot more high frequency energy. It's a brighter sound. So the, the pulse output there is either going to output a clock, and the pulse rate will determine the, the speed of that clock, so it'll be a regular clock signal. If it's set to random, it's going to output random pulses, and the pulse rate will still determine the rate of those random pulses. White noise feeds the sample and hold input, and so does the pulse. So the pulse feeds the trigger input on the sample and hold section. So what that means is when the pulse fires, it's sampling the, whatever value the white noise is at, and it's going to output out of the hold output there. So first of all, I'm going to take the pulse output and use that to just trigger a VCA. And so with it set to random, it's going to fire random gates, but they'll be more clustered the faster it goes. So now if we take that hold output and use that to control the pitch of that oscillator, when it sends those pulses, it's sampling the white noise and outputting those random values to control the pitch of the oscillator. So what's a lot of fun is taking an LFO and running that into the input. So you can hear it kind of tracking that LFO. But it's uh, making an interesting melody out of it. Track and hold, on the other hand, will send the, the input signal to the output as long as the gate is high, and then once the gate goes low, it uh, stores that final value and outputs that final value. You can get some portamento, you can get some uh, slides and things with track and hold. So I'll go back to that track sample. Now the slew output here, so the hold output is going into the slew limiter. Uh, so what the slew limiter does is lets you smooth those transitions between sample and hold values, or whatever you plug into the input. Where this can be really useful is if you're, say, taking a melody, so if we go into the slew, then you can create portamento effects with your melodies. So you can use these clock outputs uh, to synchronize other sequencers. And of course that opens up the possibility of having random clocks uh, controlling sequencers. And another cool thing you can do with a slew limiter is convert a square wave into more of a triangular wave. So that's just using a square wave to control my VCA. And increase that. You can smooth those edges of the square wave and make things more, more gradual.
So that's just scratching the surface of what you can do with the Noise Tools module. It's really quite helpful and functional and, and a lot of fun to use. Thanks for watching.